Hey guys, how y'all doing? Uh, so I'm super excited to be talking about one of my new favorite fragrances. Uh, and it's surprising, it's a, it's a clean soapy scent, but it's just so unique, right? Uh, and it's Prada's Infusion Iris Cedre. And man, just take a look at this bottle, right? Uh, bottle designed by Lalique, by the way. Uh, and it just, you know, the, the juice is as stunning and as elegant as the you know bottle kind of looks and man this is an amazing amazing fragrance it just smells so good and even being a soapy scent it is so unique and i you know nothing really smells like it um, the way they balance the notes here uh, we'll talk more about the smell but you know i will tell you up front that if you're not if you're somebody who's not into soapy clean fragrances and this might not be for you despite how good it is how natural how high quality it smells you know it just might not be for your taste right but if you are into soapy clean scents and you're looking for the best soapy fragrances out there this is a must-have and just it's one of the most natural blends I've, I've smelled it's just so good and I think it's as close as you get to uh, like hotel linen kind of smell you know of course hotel linen doesn't actually smell like this you know it it doesn't I never actually smells this good but if you think about the imagery man, this perfectly white perfectly ironed and taut you know hotel sheets right at a luxurious hotel that's what you get um, or similarly you know uh, you know a bar of soap of that quality now when I first um, got familiar with Prada's amber I that's sort of the thought that I had but after smelling this this is sort of that to the next level, right? Uh, basically, this is perfection in terms of this luxurious soap vibe. So to give you a little bit of background, um, this is part of Prada's Infusion Iris line, uh, and it's marketed as a more upscale uh, kind of collection of fragrances that Prada releases. Uh, they all come in bottles like this, I believe, and the price comes in at around uh, 160 dollars for 100 ml which is quite pricey right for a designer but you can get uh most of these at um discounters for the same kind of you know designer prices that you're familiar with around 60 70 dollars so i think at that price this is you know fantastic i mean i would gladly pay more maybe like a hundred dollars for this um and it's just that good right in terms of the quality of the ingredients Man, I've got you know about seven sprays on me. It's one of those fragrances that you can't over apply. It's just so good. So if you just want to smell more of it, just keep going with the sprays, right? Uh, of course, that's gonna dig into your wallet. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'll still give you a fresh spray of this. Oh shoot, I missed. Okay, man, it's so. It's one of these fragrances that surprised me because it constantly changes from especially early on especially in the beginning it's just constantly changing and you know i'm picking up um different notes that are sort of the main player and then something else you know kind of hits my nose and that's a mark of just uh, an exquisite blend um if you look at the box here right you see a very simple note listing on the front it says iris cedar <clears throat> neroli incense benzoin sounds all good but if you look at the side of the box, you actually get a slightly longer list, more complete list of notes. Um, iris, cedar, neroli, mandarin orange, vetiver, uh, incense, and benzoin. Now, this Infusion Cedre is supposedly is the same fragrance as uh, Infusion Dome, which is discontinued. And I, I never smelled Infusion Dome, but uh, from what people say, people who are very familiar with Infusion Dome say that this juice smells identical to infusion dome and if you look at the complete note listing it's identical right so it's assumed that you know this is the same fragrance just you know after they marketed it differently it, you know kind of made this into a whole new line they just changed the name to infusion iris cedar so it's supposed to be a little bit more masculine among this lineup of fragrances i assume right uh, if it was previously the the ohm uh, version it is a perfectly unisex scent and maybe to, to my nose a little bit a touch feminine actually um, 
but I could see people saying that because of the cedar, it could lean a little bit more masculine. Actually, I think a lot of people on the forums were saying it leans a touch masculine, but I would call this virtually unisex. Um, but going back to the smell, right? So it opens a very soapy, and what's so unique about this fragrance, I mentioned that it's very unique among soapy scents is, despite this being an iris forward scent, you know, and you do get iris, but it's not overpowering, it's not dominant, and it's not powdery. This fragrance actually, to me, is not so powdery, maybe a, a little bit powdery, you could say, but because it has this uh, woody backbone from the cedar, it has this kind of dry, uh, woodsy nature that combines with, you know, the floral aspect and just a very, very natural citrus. Uh, you know, at the opening, you get this perfect, like, interplay of, of cedar wood, the iris, you know, you could, it definitely feels floral, and that's why I said it's a little bit feminine. <clears throat> and you get this beautiful citrus, right? Uh, and I'd say, it's just hard to pick out which note is the main player and it's just kind of like a revolving thing where you know to my nose I'm getting all the, the wafts of all these notes uh, and you know probably the incense is giving it a little bit of sharp, sharpness but that's I think just kind of not not so important here uh, now about 30 seconds in or a minute or two in what's so good is you know, I get the orange starts to come up and it's just such a nice, realistic, bitter orange. Uh, and of course, this is the Neroli that's both giving the, the orange quality, a little bit of sweetness, right, that, that you get in real oranges, a little bit of bitterness as well, a little bit of floral, you know, qualities. And also, Neroli has this kind of like way of, you know, giving it the soap quality and really cleaning up the fragrance. And that's what you get here. Man, it's just so good. And so you get this very solid orange heart note, right? Uh, now, the name, of course, contains cedar, right? So ex you expect cedar to be uh, a main player, and it is. It, like I said, it just serves as a backbone to this fragrance. And the feel I get is, wow, this, you know, I mentioned that this is one of the most natural smells. You know, what I get, what it feels like to me is like uh, you, you, you took some really cleaned up cedar wood, right? And you just, it's like a freshly shaved layer of cedar wood uh, that has that woody nuance. And it's airy, you know, it has a little bit of sweetness and airiness. And that's what you get here. And maybe a little sharpness, right? Um, but it makes this ultra clean. and the reason why you can spray a lot of it, right? As opposed to fragrances that, you know, go in a powdery direction, if you spray too much, I feel like it sort of suffocates you. It's a little bit too, uh, you know, too much, right? The smell reminds me of the color white, right? And it's like a crisp, very crisp Italian white shirt. Um, I mentioned hotel sheets, you know, you could come up with a lot of images or like some some perfect white sheets like blowing in a breeze, right? And with the sun coming, really sunny day. Um, this sort of like perfect cleanliness. That's what you get here. That doesn't smell anything like a detergent or a cleaning solution, which you could sometimes get. And uh, just the use of cedar, right? Combining with, which is sort of, uh, you know, a, a masculine note. Combine that with iris, which is very floral, right? Can be creamy. And then you, you add neroli that's just so natural, so juicy, yet light, slightly bitter. Oh, man, it's just such an airy fragrance, right? And I think this is a perfect work scent, but also perfect summer scent because of how, you know, light it wears, how refreshing it is, and it has it's one of those fragrances that has a cooling aspect, right? You come out of the uh, the shower and you put this on and it just, you feel so clean and so cool, right? Now, Neroli is one of my favorite notes. And, you know, I mentioned that Neroli has so many facets and one of the things that it does is it gives a soapy nuance, right? I think Neroli does that, really. And here, it's, it's so natural smelling that 
it's it feels like you know when you take a, a perfect bar of soap you smell it up close you get a little bit of the kind of uh, the the punchy uh, slightly piercing soap quality uh, that's so clean but it just smells so nice right uh, you get that kind of feel from this fragrance but of course it smells a whole lot better right than just a bar of soap <sighs> All right, so I want to give you a quick comparison with Prada's Amber since that's such a popular fragrance and really, you know, for, mo for a lot of people, the king of like soapy scents, right? Uh, so let me give Amber a spray as well. Yeah. So already with the juice color, I mean, you know, you can't judge everything by <laughs> juice color. You can make a fragrance any color you want, but they try to sort of make it match the smell, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and this one, it's darker right it's purple and i would say actually amber and infusion both soapy but go in totally different directions this has a lot more notes a lot of added notes uh you know like saffron that are, that's prominent you have myrrh it has a more resinous quality and, and a little bit more amped up amber um, accord and, and, and that all kind of makes this a little bit more masculine in my opinion also has like a more aromatic fougere aspect that makes this more masculine all right so let's give amber a spray I haven't worn this for some time but it's one of my favorites all time yeah so like I said the biggest difference maybe after smelling infusion cedre iris cedre and then this this is uh, it feels deeper, it feels spicier, and it's also a whole lot sweeter uh, and more resinous. <sighs> and maybe, you know, this might be more mass appealing to guys because not all guys are looking for that, you know, not all guys are into iris, right? Uh, the note of iris and, you know, the other infusion iris said, right, despite the cedar, right, backbone, this can still be overly soapy and overly sort of floral for some people right so that's just something to know it does smell you know it has a more simple composition but just a perfect balance like i talked about before this is more complex you know it's got more going on there and yeah just this sweeter more aromatic and resinous quality is what separates this from um, iris cedre Personally, you know, I actually, I just went on and on about how good Iris Cedre is, uh, but I think I would prefer Prada's Amber, uh, not considering the price, just because, you know, again, a little bit more masculine, a little bit, you know, more in terms of different things going on that can appeal to more people, you know. Uh, but if you're, for the summer, right, I always say that, you know, this is a great fragrance that can work year round, but it does have something a little bit, heavier right for the really hot weather but infusion iris cedre this is one that's gonna absolutely cool you down right in the summer it's just so clean this might not work in the high heat whereas the other infusion iris cedre is just a summer gem let me sum it up for you you know so products infusion iris cedre is basically an it's not a powdery soapy scent it's a soapy uh sharp woodsy kind of floral scent that just reminds you of anything white white shirt white linens perfectly clean and luxurious and it's got a perfect balance of like a, a bitter orange uh, with a, a, you know dry shaven cedar wood and just a, a floral you know element in the background as well that's what I get from this fragrance uh, completely unisex not so masculine let me know if you've tried this and what you think uh, you know am i kind of overhyping this fragrance it really you know it, it's i'm coming to like it more and more as i wear it more and more and that's the sign of a good full bottle worthy fragrance all right all right guys so that's what i have and i'll see you in the next one